Greetings, signs and moons. We're going to go ahead and get into channeling this energy. If you haven't seen part one, a link for that will be in the description box below. Thank you to all my members. Thank you for the support. So somebody feels it's necessary to come in, speak something to you. Okay. Or maybe somebody spoke to a friend of your family, somebody that you grew up with. Okay. We're talking about victimization because these two cards are pulled, right? I didn't necessarily mean to, but there's no coincidence. And this came out, right? Trouble in mind. So somebody feels like they need to speak something to you or about you. And for some of you, it's in your defense. It's in your defense here. Okay. This person may have some type of dealings with justice. They don't necessarily have to um, be in the law. But in, in the field of law, but I feel like this is like um, a worker of some sort that deals with, I'm hearing greed, deception, um, children, children. Okay, so take it how, how it resonates here. Maybe this person tried to communicate to you. This person wanted to confront you about a lie. Now, for some of you, this friend did not believe what was being said to them, although it may came from your family, okay, or something about your family, okay? But I feel like this is somebody that you may have grew up with, okay? Or this person did. Friend zone, why is this here? Inspirate look. Again, this is a friend that you grew up with that may be a soulmate. You have some sort of dealings with this person. Could be a godparent or something like that. But what I'm getting here uh, with inspiration is maybe this person knows somebody that you created a family with. Okay. And this person started watching you because of uh, a lie that was presented, okay? Something that was communicated about you. It could have been something that was communicated to you or to your family, okay? Um, lovers, I'm interested. Why is the lovers here? Because it's in the light. And it's, it's in the past, but you may be confused about it. Celebration order. Yeah, restore. Look, somebody clear something up. Or they want to. It's weighing on them. Action. It's, it's almost as somebody wants to speak something to you. And I feel like this has something to do with the reading that I did. Um, the reading before the last reading. So not part one of this video. But. The reading that I did before the last one, okay? Follow your bliss, look. Listen, somebody took power and dominion over their own life. You started building something, building your character, building your image, building a business. You stop um, focusing on others. This may have made people feel really upset. All these people that you had, I'm hearing these false ties with alliances, people that uh, used you, wanted to use you, felt you weren't worthy or something like that. Uh, for some of you, these people are upset with themselves because it's kind of like somebody feels like you are inspiration or what you do is inspirational or what this person does is inspirational. And they discounted it. They downplayed it. But now that they're going through this um, transformation energy where all these contracts are ending, these false contracts are ending, they don't have anybody to lean on, nobody to talk to. People are going to start saying they're crazy. Because that's how you weed out the people that's not supposed to be there. And for some of you, these people ended things with you. I wanted to talk about this before, and I didn't, okay? When it, 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 especially now that we got this children, parents uh, scenario. Forgive your parents, okay? Because a lot of times they only know 
what how to to raise you or not raise you from what they were taught. So forgive your parents for, for one. Okay, it'll help you in the long run. For for two. Um I just lost my train of thought. It'll come back. Um, why is fifth house here? It'll come back. Maybe I wasn't supposed to say strength and not come on on top of Leo. Knowledge. And and I in the first reading I talked about knowing the ledge. The fool card. Our action that was taken, trusting in the divine, trusting in yourself, trusting in, you know, your dreams, having strength to do so, having strength to go through this transformation. You know something, right? You know something. You know the basis, the groundwork. Wisdom comes after knowledge. So this is giving me, you, you made a lot of perceived mistakes, right? But. From those mistakes or mishaps, you're able to counsel others. So it may look like a mistake to others, to your family, maybe even to you. But going forward for the future is, is information, knowledge from whatever you went through. Say, say this is a failed business or something like that. You're going to know the red flags. You're going to know what not to do. I'm hearing something about instruction. I don't know. Maybe you're teaching the class, attending the master class or something like that. But somebody's very knowledgeable, but it's going to take strength and creativity here to unlock what is hidden. We've seen that phoenix rising in the first reading. It's a rebirth coming out of the ashes, something totally different, a transformation, a transmutation in the cosmic flow. This is like uh, for some child, let me tell you. Yesterday, I know you're not a child. At least you shouldn't be, but let me tell you. Somebody would, would boo-hooing. I mean, snotting. Oh, it was so sad. This person was so burdened. Okay? Um, and, and, and for me, right? I, I mean... It, it gave me so very much of this person didn't care when it was you. Or you didn't care when this person was boohooing and crying. That it, it made me feel kind of cold. Like, I, I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear it. And I'm a cancer. I'm a cusper as well. And see, the thing about that is... Um, there's a multifaceted, okay, infinite, and that's not me trying to brag or nothing, but I know a little bit of something about a little bit of something about a little bit of something, something, right? And it's because I've had um, a lot of experience, right? Um, and at, at one point where I used to be overly emotional, crying, um, romanticizing connections that were very toxic for me, that were holding me back, uh, that when I went through this W-A-R-F-A-R-E, those moments when I felt like I was going into a new, um, a new chapter of my life, right? I used to always say, oh, I'm going to cry when I when this happened, this happened. And then I get there and not one tear was shed. And it scared me for a minute, y'all. It scared me because I was like, what's happening? Am I, am I losing my heart? No. I'm losing those Fs. Those, those, the, I, I'm, those Fs. And y'all know what I'm talking about. The man fuse. I'm saving them. Now, I cry about things that I don't even, I would never, I would, 10, 20 years ago, you would, there wouldn't be no way that you would have said, oh, you crying about that? And it's not, it, it's the little things, y'all. And all, and I said all this to say that what you are facing, obviously these people that was, you know, your rivals or this is you, 
you thought or this person thought that what they were doing was going to make you boohoo that it was going to leave you destitute and distraught. But you came up out of the ashes a whole nother person. This is how I know this is my tribe. Whoever this is, I'm reading for. Okay? You may have your defenses up because after you go through some things, you learn, you know, how to, you know, them them FUs, you know how to distribute them. You know, them, what, you, what you're given, what you're given to care about. Is very far and few between. We got rest here. Somebody can't rest. All these illusions. All those lies. You know. Somebody has an addiction. I mean, it could be caffeine. Somebody feel like, oh, I only drink tea. <laughs> what kind of tea? Does tea have caffeine in it? Like, 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 everybody got a tick. Even though they try to act like they don't. Everybody got something. And if it ain't tea... It's Coca-Cola. It's something. Somebody got a guilty pleasure. They be trying to hide it, though. He can't get past me. Cancer. Why is this here? Action. Ooh, this is giving me all, gra all gas, no no breaks here. But, um, you know, I got to address the elephant in the room. There go that sacral energy. This is something that was happening to a mother figure or was being done by a mother figure, somebody that is into the occult, the dark stuff, right? All right. Um, they amped up. They all gas, no brakes. They don't sleep. They up when you sleep. Taking all this action, manipulating your soul, your uh, sacral and your solar plexus. And in the first reading, we talked about someone that is celibate and somebody was either trying to attach something to you while you were sleeping or they were trying to manipulate your energy while you were sleeping, sending you lustful type of energies or entities so they could drain you, you know, get you of your gifts, confuse you. You know, take your abundance, your ability to, to produce. That's what I'm getting. The Grim Reaper. It's an end to that. <laughs> Either they were sleeping with this person or they was working with this person. These people in the middle here. But somebody didn't want something to end. Like, they is like... <sighs> you see how this person look all drained and... Y'all can't see, but I ain't finna touch it. They 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 look malnourished here because somebody somebody was taking somebody's nutrients or something. Creativity, clarity, keep going, adequacy, virtue, and self knowledge. This person, whatever connection they are in, it's not a sufficient supply. Let's just say that it's not sufficient. That's why they malnourished looking. And even if they eat and they still look malnourished, something in the face ain't right with this person. They could be with somebody, but they ain't connecting. It's like two positive or two negatives. That's not going to make the engine go. There's a feminine energy or somebody in their feminine energy that's looking at somebody else. They're interested in somebody that's even more darker. And this person that they're interested in, they ain't even thinking about them. <laughs> ain't that how it go? They ain't even thinking about them. They, they, everything they doing is being done in the dark. So you got somebody that was interested. Okay, so let's put it this way. Say you the feminine energy or the female energy. You could have a child with this person. This could be your mother. This could be your children. Right? There was some sort of manipulation that was happening. Either somebody was lying and saying that you were doing something that you weren't, or somebody was trying to attach something to you spiritually. The Grim Reaper. Okay. This, this is a masculine energy. They could have they could be a feminine sign. Or they could be they could overcompensate their masculin masculinity because they have an issue with their feminine energy. I hope you're following me. Then you have a fem feminine energy that's in love with a warlock. If this is another woman interested in another woman, this other woman operates strictly out of their masculine energy. They're very cold. They're reckless. They're, re they're reckless. 
they're very dark energy, but this feminine energy is so attracted to it. But this could also be this feminine energy going into a dark night of the soul and having to reap the repercussions of their actions. The Grim Reaper, why is this here? Come on. Impatience and optimism. So they're pessimistic. They lack patience here. As they always go, 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 go. For some of you, somebody wants you to, 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 to come towards them. They may want to come towards you, but they can't. They, 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 and this energy is self-sabotage. Now, you want to go, go towards this person. If this is you and you watching, you know whatever you did in the past is coming back to haunt you. And the person that you with ain't skiddily that. I'm just saying. Bridget, why is this here? You can show me. Too many cards. I need control. That's all this person is worried about. Um, this dark energy here. They want power. Seasons. So this person was doing this for a very long time. You know, seasons this just typically happens in a year, but I got four when I looked at that. Four years. This person, um, either they was manifesting a lot from you or from multiple people. Um, and this feminine energy that's interested in this dark person. Um, something is telling them not to do it. But there's a soul tie there some kind of way. I don't know if this person was doing work on them too. This ain't my collective. These are the people that you're dealing with. That Cupid arrow, that's giving me the lovers. Lovers. I mean, this could be like a three-way situation whether these people know each other or not. You know, we've been getting that. Yeah. This could be somebody's secret lover. It may have been happening for four years. If this is like a, a dark practitioner Somebody in this situation, been they made this person some money here by getting readings or doing work or something like that. But it's all going back with the sun card being here. Okay. This is all somebody was worried about was power. That's all. They may have violent streaks or they're attracting like violent situations. If you're any if you are in any domestic violence issues, health issues, mental, physical, financial, seek out the proper authorities. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. And that's not to diminish uh, anything that you're going through. This is protect me legally. Somebody took action. We got action here, and we got action there. Somebody deals with the underworld. They deal with order. They deal with the occult. They did with they deal with things that are hidden, dark. And whoever this, I don't know if it's this person's mother here, okay, or an older feminine energy. And they do they deal with the moon. So this is like a dynamic duo. Hmm. Um, your left eye could be significant or somebody's is um, the high priestess why is this here oh it went right on over there the lonely I'm so lonely is that why they did isolation and binding because this person feels like what would destroy them would destroy you. This person has a limited perspective. Uh, this is somebody that believes the world is one way and they're not going to waver from it. They feel like they're dark, so everybody is dark. Everybody does things in the dark. There's no love. You shouldn't have love. You shouldn't have companions because you went up against me. How dare you? This is what this, this moon energy is all about here. This high priestess in the dark on the fence. Yep. And what do you have it? Law. They wrote the law. Universal law. Spiritual law. The law. Yeah, I mean, you know. And, and you know, somebody don't somebody don't want to deal with this person. Um, but again, I gotta reiterate this. There is a high priest. That although their energy is dark, they deal with the dark. They are not taking 
this person's money because they know they will lose a gift. Okay? They know they're going to lose. They're smart enough to know that. Okay? So, let's get these reversals. Then we're going to move on. We're going to ease on down the road. Um, oh, is that the Wizard of Oz? That could be significant. Follow the yellow big, <laughs> follow the yellow big road. Child. Is there a yellow big road in your town? Oh, okay. As I looked up here and follow your bliss, somebody's a mason or something that are, that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, blast from the, blast from the past. Yeah, that be yeah. Get in the chat. Look at here. 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 We got the barons. <laughs> you may not deal with the occult, but somebody in this is protected by the occult. The same people that they tried to get. Now, this ain't going to be for everybody. Now, if you know you're running around here and you're talking about... Um, love and light and you know all the archangels because somebody told you that those was your angels and you didn't research them this ain't for you if you swear you ain't did nothing wrong in your life this ain't for you I'm talking about someone that is not afraid to face their fears. This is someone that laughs in the face of darkness. And this is why the Baron says, come on in. <laughs> um, now they went to, they, they went, you know, this could be Papa Legba, this could be Baron Samdi, this could be spiritual gatekeepers, the, the people that you go to to make things happen. Whatever that equivalent of that vibration is in your belief system. Um, for some of you, somebody is, in, they, they, they into that, you know, Satan stuff, you know, and that's what they went to. But whoever, <laughs> whoever they did this to you, is a, a gatekeeper themselves. So it's kind of, it's not funny, right? Whoever this is, they got a higher purpose. That's why it's sitting on top of the star card. This is definitely a star seed. This 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 would be somebody that feel like they don't belong. Um or they feel like they're from another planet because they 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 possibly are. You, I mean, you know, this would be the oddball, the weird person. This is someone that didn't know vulnerability was like a thing that you shouldn't do on this world. Yeah, because people will see you, you know, naked or what they feel is naked and they want to uh, manipulate that energy, use that energy um, for their greater purpose. We're talking about the second house in Aquarius. This is somebody that's futuristic. Um, but this is blast from the past. And then we got the spirit of unalive on top of the second house here. This is somebody that tried to sacrifice you. And you try to sacrifice this person. That the, the lines of communication is not open. And somebody's upset because they're, they're watching you here. We got get in the game. Y'all already know. For those of you that are, are, are new to the channel, that it, this is picking up on, say, for instance, what I talked about 24, 22 on the clock. In the first reading, if somebody, you know, do the slander in videos, oh, Ether did this. Ether did is, is damage control. Let's put it that way. And it's somebody new, or at least it's somebody that you may not be aware of, or in my case, I may not have been aware of was a part of this. They're mad, boy. Oh, for some of you, it's somebody that's of the same gender. 
They went to the dark to tie you, sacrifice you, get you to lust for them. Look at that. Stars can't shine without darkness. <laughs> this is not funny, right? But for, for, the, for those that this is truly with, you may not laugh right now, right? I ain't going to say you, you laughing with me, right? But because some people, y'all still in y'all feelings. But look, later on, you're going to look back because it's not about... Okay, listen. You are helping people no matter what phase of healing you are in. All right? And for instance, you could be in this energy of everybody around you is distorted. The lover's car in the dark, right? Then you find out, right? And you're still able to speak on that and, you know, heal from that or help others heal from that. It's like 360 degrees instead of 180 degrees. You, you come from a perspective of hurt. Then you come from a perspective of anger. Then you come from a perspective of healing. And from healing, then you come from the perspective of Let's put Chrome, Chrome, where you you didn't experience 360 degrees. You know how it feels to be in it. You know how it feels to be angry about it. You know how it feels to heal from it. And then, you know, the rewards of healing from it. Is, is that good for you? Look at that spiritual word. They look stronger than you think. Yeah, they put that tower on you. They put that woo wop on you. But it helped you ascend here. It puts you back. It connects you back to your roots or to your purpose. Or this is happening to this person. Um, law. Let's do reckless first. Reckless. Why is this here? That was quick. Ta! Look. They're going to come in with some information. You see these apples? Information here. Information there. Don't bite that apple. Don't bite that apple. They're going to come in thinking they're giving somebody some information on how to hurt, harm, injure someone. And the whole time, you see that? Uh, anonymous mass. The whole time it's them. It's them. They're going to be in their play. But it's kind of like somebody's doing this to gain favor from somebody. And it's not, this person is cold. They cold. They don't, they don't want a partnership. And if they do want a partnership, it's only to like gain some abundance. Like, I'm here and that's what this person gets. Law in reverse. Why is this here? So, guy, move forward. Something's happening in the, in the dream state. Like, somebody's being warned. <laughs> They've been warned this whole time. We got Dharma, religious and moral law that governs individuals' conduct that will influence the four sums of life. And those four sums is wealth, desire, righteousness, and liberation. Look, and that's on top of the law card. And that happens to be 112. I don't know about y'all, but that looked like 11, 11 to me, right? 11, 11, 11, all right? That's significant. Um, some of y'all, y'all seeing 1122 as well. I just had to put that out there. But somebody knows. <laughs> Like they may, they may have been, I don't know if they did in the past. And maybe this is somebody they went to and somebody trusting their intuition. But look, somebody know that somebody is a healer here. They may have felt like that maybe you were a baby in the game. You didn't have all the knowledge, right? You didn't know the ledge, right? This person didn't either because they thought if this is somebody that did something to you multiple times in secret, they definitely are, they, they ancestors is trying to guide them. What is it? Psalms 110. 
King James Version, Melchizedek, the right hand man. Hey, our right hand. Let somebody know. Somebody know. This ain't this ain't what you this ain't what they want. Now they may have wanted it initially if this is somebody that did something repetitively, but they, it's like they know. They know now. Like whoever this is that, that I'm talking about, they got yeah, people all mad and stuff. Oh yeah, this is the person that been doing stuff to your vision. Child, look. If I didn't touch, and my pods is starting to come out. If I didn't touch that to see, this is somebody that's been doing stuff to your vision and multiple people uh, vision here. Um, but at some point though, these barons energies, they may have visited you or they visited this person. Some of you, that could be your ancestors. Man, my pod just came out, y'all. For some of you, that could be your, your answer. Because it's, it's more than just Psalm D and Bajet. It's more than just them. So, and, the, and look, and I said somebody didn't have all the information. And what do you see right there? 180 degrees. Look, somebody's royalty. They know it. They... Anytime you see roses... Those, those are my Tudor cards. Some of y'all, y'all know what Tudors are. If you don't, you might want to research it. Um, somebody wanted to be royalty. But this person, no, even if you're not a Tudor or anything like that, this person knows. Okay? Um, this person may even want to help you. And they may feel like helping you or you feel like helping this person is it's not taking this person's money that is coming up against uh, whoever whoever this person is or whoever you are. They're not. Yeah, I just heard the thing. This person, I feel like this is somebody that watches me too. Look, yo, you right. If you want to build some Dharma, don't take this person's money. Because you're going to have a debt on you. Right now, you may be having a little bit of debt. But I feel like that debt is more ascension. Okay? You're reaching another level here. But if you take money from this person to do what you've already been doing to them, it's not going to be good for you. So, hey. Now, this could also be someone that watches me that goes to this person. I mean, you know, do it if you want to. Um, kicking it in reverse. But somebody thought that they was going to switch places with whoever this is. They thought they just knew it. I don't know if it was something that was promised, but there was a lie. Because all this person had to do was get centered. It was happening for them or happening for you, not to you. Y'all going to mess around. Let me just say this. Even if this person was to drop tomorrow, that they face might be the one you see when you get ready. <laughs> Look, it's all good in the hood. We got funky. So somebody got me. Look, goes bump in the night. Hey, this practitioner. And that's the downfall. So, yeah. You may not, you may want to think about that. Okay, with the what next, plotting, look, getting educated, somebody, hey, look, I feel like I got to talk about this, and I don't want y'all to feel like I'm educated, yep, Dean, I got to. Um, I don't want you to feel like I'm educating the enemy. What I'm doing is I'm trying to save a soul here. And I mean, who's to say this person could even be going up against me? Yep. The, the, these notifications here. Look, you're about to be judged, man. By the person that you was judging. Okay. And or their ancestors. Because for some of you, they already, them ancestors is already in your, you know, and they can't. This is not something that you're going to be able to get rid of with this. And let me tell you, with that sun card here. Universal Life Force Source, Jah, Muhammad, God, Yahshua, Yahweh, Um, 
that I already said, do what you do. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be 100 with you. With law of relative truths here. Define who you are before someone else does. And I'm about to end it there. Deuces.